Drive sober or be pulled over, questioned, and potentially arrested. Jonesboro police officers are checking drivers all New Year's weekend for drug and alcohol impairment at random locations throughout the city. Sergeant George Martin states that the checkpoints are not meant to punish DUIs, but prevent. If they know that we're going to be out there, maybe they'll take that extra step and plan for somebody to come pick them up, use a cab or use Uber or have a designated driver, and that's what we're wanting to accomplish. There were almost 3,200 motor vehicle accidents last year in Jonesboro, and 130 of the drivers in those accidents were under the influence. Impaired drivers also caused two of 11 fatal motor vehicle accidents in 2016. Jonesboro police officers arrested almost 300 impaired drivers while performing the sobriety checkpoints last year. By continuing to boost their presence on local roads, they're hoping that the figures for 2017 will be much lower. Tristan Atkins introduced Uber to Jonesboro and says there's no excuse for driving under the influence. The company now has 10 local drivers that provide lifts within city limits for a mere 8 to 10 bucks. I had way too many friends here uh, in the last month already just, you know, getting a wreck or, or someone that I knew. It, it's horrible. Over two beer, I would definitely suggest it. Honestly, even if you have one beer, I would suggest it. Sergeant Martin seconds that suggestion to avoid an impaired driving arrest this holiday. It will start affecting your body at as low as an O2. You'll start feeling the effects after one or two beers. For Northeast Arkansas News, I'm Simone Jameson.